my name is Tuan van Ghent and my profession is BMX racing. My objectives as an athlete are uh, obviously Tokyo 2020, World Championships next year in Baku, and I'm working really hard for that. Before I start racing professionally, I uh, was uh, on school for industrial design. So, uh, yeah, industrial design, engineering, that kind of, that part of me is, uh, is getting awake more and more. I started uh, industrial design before I started racing professionally. And industrial design, engineering, that side always put my interest on. I have a lot of ideas in my head. But uh, it's pretty hard to explain to people who doesn't really know what you're thinking about. So if you have a really a good 3D model you can show people that do understand your ideas. Choose it works because I've worked with it in the past. Uh, I was in school for that. It's really easy to use and really easy to start up with. To eventually go deeper in the program, take some time, but every, everything needs time if you want to be good at it. I really enjoyed using it, yeah, and I'm, just, I'm still, <laughs> still enjoying it, yeah. I was quite nervous in the beginning to come here for the course, but because like it's not school anymore. People, my classmates are engineers, and I'm just I'm an athlete, and that's a completely different world. So I, I was really nervous to get back into it. Do I understand everything? And isn't isn't it too hard? My classmates are really really interested in what I did as well, and. Uh, it was a really nice combination of, of, of people and it was a variated group and at the end we all helped each other. It was a really easy way to start uh, using SOLIDWORKS again for me. It was, it was really simple, it was really uh, easy explained for me like in a normal language, not engineering talks. I felt myself really comfortable after coming here for the first time. I had an idea before I uh, came here, like, uh, I'm an athlete and I'm thinking about getting the best out of myself. And when I think I reach that, can the bike adapt a little bit so I can be better? And for me that was a crucial point and I'm thinking about it for a long time now, but yeah, nobody really can help me because it's a pretty hard idea what I have and it doesn't exist yet. There are a lot of developments going on but the crank of the bike stays the same. It's just a piece of alloy or carbon these days, but it's just the same length over and over. And that's my goal, to draw on solid works, to get myself a better achievement for Tokyo in three years, the Olympic Games. Engineering is, is what I like to do next to riding my bike, so why don't combine those things? And now, uh, now I can draw it myself. The unique features of the crank are the, the length. The length of the crank uh, doesn't exist yet. It has to be really light and SOLIDWORKS helps me with developing that because a SOLIDWORKS program uh, can calculate on what uh, parts of the product you have to add material and you can lose material so to have the optimum crank. I use simulation in SOLIDWORKS for uh, getting the strength, the, the power output on the crank and uh, to get the thickness of the material so I could calculate myself how, how strong the crank should be so the crank maintains its optimum strength and trust fully on SOLIDWORKS. Basically SOLIDWORKS uh, can calculate everything for me. The whole process I can do it myself now.